This is an explanation of how you can use STIM to replace the CAPE system. On your desktop you'll find the uh, cost engineering icon. When you click on that, key in the uh, initials of your username. Um, the default is SUP, no password, and that brings you to this screen here. If you then click on the estimates, I uh, will look at an existing part so you can see what we're aiming to do. Um, here's a drop down of all the parts that are on here. We shall look at sheet part 21 and in the operations tab you'll see that we've got one operation and it's in the fabrication area with a brake press. Double click on that to drill down into it and you've then got two tasks one of which is set press brake for forming radii and here is forming radii. These are taken from the doll files for the same sort of tasks. Here we've got a list of all the other tasks that this particular machine can perform. The machines are given a menu. This is the menu for that particular machine. These are the cutting materials which we'll come on to when it's a cutting operation. But for the moment we're in a manual type operation. If we double click on this we get to the input data for the task. It's asking us for a length and a width and these have been parameterized and you'll see down in this window here what the current values of these parameters are. Each parameter set uh, can be used for a part and then you can create more par parameter sets for slightly bigger or slightly smaller parts but it saves keying information in multiple times. If we click on results we can see that this particular task with these sizes results in a time of 2.1 minutes. If you want to see the workings behind that we can click on task and here are the prompts and the evaluations of those prompts. You'll see that the prompts go up to 19 and then start again and go up to 19 again. The reason for that is the first part elaborates, extends the um, like it, the prompts, the parameters are ex, uh, evaluated and then there are the equations uh, so that's the first level. The second level is to actually take those equations and put in the actual uh, calculations and the results are here. So you can see that the end result here is 2.1 and it's a setting type time. Anyway, that's the background of it. If we look here, these are the prompts that have been created. Down here you'll find the information that relates back to the doll files and here is the STIM task equivalent. I'll cover this in more detail in the next video but for the moment it's sufficient to say that we don't have an if statement but we do have a condition statement and that condition there is the same as this condition here. So that expression there is the same as this expression here. These are straightforward expressions where we've got a dash 8 that is the answer in 8. So it's whatever that works out to be is then divided by 2.25 which is the same as this kilograms from weight. This is pounds, this is kilograms. So we'll explain this in more detail later but for the moment let's just see how STIM handles this information. So we can accept it and we can have a look at the forming here. Now here we've got a number of uh, parameters again but this time we've got some manually entered data and we can change that to 100. If we now click results it gives us 18 minutes for this and if we look at the task again we've got the same sort of thing we've got the uh, first evaluation of the parameters and then we've got the evaluation of the formulae. Okay. So having got that we can either accept it or reject it. If we reject it we go back and change this figure. And if we change it to 50 and click results uh, we haven't got a, a diff much different time here. Uh, if we just reject that and put in something bigger we can put expressions in here so let's put it uh, add a thousand millimeters to that and then do results. You'll see we've got a different time. So reject that take that extra bit out. We can do results just for good good measure, bring that to 18 and and accept that. So those are the operations, the tasks within the operation. And if we want a report on that we go to here, 
the detailed summary gives us all the bits and pieces for that task and here we've got the two um, tasks here which are the same as your doll files and we've got the explanation that it's 18 minutes of manual time and 2.1 minutes for setting we then add on the relaxation allowances to give us this overall time we can then take it to one stage further if we want to ally, ally in it to prices so we've got a bid price and here we've we've put in a batch quantity of 10 uh, 1 and 10 uh, here we've got the runtime uh, of all the tasks for operation 10 we can put in bought out materials as well here if we wanted and here we've got the two quantities but if we want to see a, a, a economic batch curve we can smooth it and see that we've got this change in price depending on the quantity All right. Uh, that really concludes how Estim works and uh, we shall oh one more thing we'll just look at parameters the parameters that we mentioned were the length width and, height and, and thickness these are the parameters here we can have multiple sets we've only got one set here so let's let's create a new set uh, so we'll click on new and we give it a name of set 2 and we then have these price these size, sizes here which we can change to 1000 and maybe 800 and maybe 3 and having got that we can go if we want straight to detailed summary it quickly recalculates it and we've now got a setup time of 3 minutes and a forming time of 24 minutes so you can see that by changing the parameters we can get a new timeout very quickly so let's leave it f like that for the moment and we'll look at the tasks in more detail